Hello and welcome to True Audio Files. My name is Jim Carter. So before I get too started uh, too deep into this, I wanted to kind of show off my couple of my acquisitions this week. I think this is a new, relatively new one. It's Art Blakely and the Jazz Messengers, uh, 80th anniversary Blue Note reissue. And then I know this is new, the White Stripes Greatest Hits reissue. My local store didn't have it in stock, so I bought it at Target and it actually had a Target exclusive of a, of a slip mat. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but my topic for today is, are vinyl records becoming the main format of choice for the music industry? Part of the reason why I'm talking about this is, last week I noticed two instances where I think that this might be starting to become the case. And that is, the first one was the new Fish uh, studio album that just came out is only available on vinyl, and I think you might be able to buy it as an MP3 or something, but uh, it's not available on CD, at least anywhere I can see. If there are any Fish fans that are out there, or Fish heads, <laughs> if you will, that uh, know of anything different, please let me know. But I you know, I looked on Amazon, I looked a couple of places, didn't check their website, but I didn't see a CD release uh, being announced or available anywhere. And the second one was the Smashing Pumpkins new release, which came out last week also. Now, it came out on vinyl and on CD. Now, it was a single CD set or a two-record set. What I found very interesting, though, is that when you go uh, to purchase it, if you wanted to purchase it as a high-resolution download, they have priced it like it's a two-album, two-record set, or two-CD set, if you will. And to kind of give a little bit of a backstory on that, when... Generally speaking, when you buy a high-resolution download from, like, HD Tracks or Cobuzz or whatever, if it's available as a single CD but double record set, generally speaking, they charge you what would be sort of the equivalent of a single CD. So, in the case of high-resolution, kind of the retail price for a high-resolution download of a single CD set is somewhere in the vicinity of $18 to $20 retail. And then, uh, so... But in the case of the Smashing Pumpkins record, <clears throat> or release, I should say, it was priced as if it was a double record or a double album set or two CD set, if you will, because it was being listed out at retail price between $28 and I think $34 full retail for it. And I've never seen a single CD or uh, release being priced that high. So it made me wonder, wonder if they're making this trend to be where if some an album is coming out as a two-record set but a single CD set, that they're treating the two-record set as the primary release and the main release and pricing the digital downloads that you can purchase according to how many records it, the release is. So... I thought it was kind of interesting, and I don't know if that's going to be a trend that's going to continue on. I don't know if I, I can't say I've really seen anything else, but it just struck me two two releases in a row or two releases on a single release day that were like that, and uh, just made me wonder about that. And just kind of wanted to see your take. I mean, you definitely see the stuff on Record Store Day where you've got some releases that are vinyl exclusives that won't come out on CD or as a download or anything like that, although those are becoming less and less. But uh, you do still see that on Record Store Day. But beyond Record Store Day, I really haven't seen too much of that. I know that when Pearl Jam initially put out their Vitology album, it came out this was back in the mid-90s or late 90s, or I guess it was mid-90s, uh, they released it on vinyl first before it came out on CD. So that's the only other instance I can think of in modern history, though, where something like that has happened. But, you know, I'd love to hear your take. Have you seen anything like that before? You know, where they've released either the record first before the CD or digital, or that they've priced the digital downloads for purchase according to how many records the release was, not how many... CDs the release was so I'd really love to hear your take on that and uh, you know maybe make some comments in the comments section below on on what you seem but you know that's that's my main topic for today I thought it was very interesting that I noticed that last week and didn't know if anyone else had so I'd really love to hear what you have to say if you liked what you see here please like my chan uh, the video if you want to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when my new videos get released, by all means, please hit that alert bell so you know uh, when they come out. So that is my short 
short video for the, this week. I hope you have a great week for the rest of the week. And you have a great day, too.